Hey, uh, real quick, before we do anything, I got two things we gotta do. I do a really bad podcast called Cut the Tape, and for like the last six years, there's been no intro to it. So Lucas is gonna record everyone, and on the count of three, I need everyone to say, Cut the Tape, and that's gonna be the intro to the show. Okay, so one, two, three. Cut the tape! Lucas, did you get that? Yeah, I think so. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, yes! We are back. It's time to cut some tape. I know it's been a few weeks since Comic-Con, but I thought I would just go over the Comic-Con hall. My name's Rick Alvarez. This is cut the tape. Let's uh, let's adjust this a little bit because I'm too handsome to be not like. All right. So this is stuff I got from Comic Con slash stuff I've just accumulated since then. A couple things I want to talk about. Thanks to Mike for getting me all my stuff at Comic Con. I appreciate it. Transformers number one, autographed. So I haven't opened it yet. I haven't read it yet. I'm looking forward to it, but I believe this was the convention exclusive cover. Yes, number one, convention exclusive, signed, I think, by um, uh, Daniel. Sorry, I don't know the full name. Oh, signed by Daniel and Warren? I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't know. Um, other Comic-Con stuff that came check out this beautiful set of sound wave pens now these are magnetic and this is all metal so because of magnetism how that works you can take the tape and put it in sound waves chest and you could switch out the tapes it comes with laser actually i think that's buzzsaw it comes with buzzsaw rumble frenzy and ravage uh and we all know which one is blue and which one's red. We don't need to get into that conversation here. Frenzy's red. This is limited to 500. Comic-Con. Um, another weird thing from Comic-Con. Let me talk about this. Now, I, I haven't really opened this. I've been waiting to do this. So it's been sitting there for a while. And I forgot that my buddy Mike got this for me. I, I didn't even know. I really wanted this. And I didn't know this. I mean, look at this. It's a Soundwave backpack. Right? Like, how crazy is that? It's got... Oh, my... Look. Look, if you can... You can't see inside. But inside, you have fabric. You have Transformers Soundwave-themed fabric. You have a little, this is from Loungefly. They have a Castle Grayskull bag, which, you know, I would love to get. Oh, check this out. All right, so that's the fabric, right? A little cardboard here to make sure that the that ears stay up. And uh, yeah, oh, here's, here's a better example of the fabric. This is just a cool, cool piece. I think this was 125 bucks. Worth every penny. Well done. I think besides that Super 7 Cobra Commander print, this, this was the catch of the show for me. I'm, I'm super excited about this. Super excited about this. I love, I love stuff like this. You can never go wrong with Oh my God, you can never go wrong with licensed goods. Um, so, that being said, uh, some other stuff that just happened to come from Mike. This is the, I believe this is Korean? Optimus Prime movie theater. I think it's a popcorn display, but you open it. I mean, listen, I'm married to an Asian girl. Her hands aren't that small. All right, like, 
What do you what what do you what are you putting in there that you can easily access? It's not popcorn. You put popcorn in. How are you gonna clean this out later? <sighs> Major Cineplex exclusive collection. I I don't know. It's ABS, but there it is. There's the Optimus. This happened to come in. The Volvo. Optimus Prime with, tra with micro trailer, Huffer trailer, HT Huffer trailer. Uh, yeah, the, I, I don't know. This exists. There, there was the Santa Prime one. Santa Prime's now a real thing. And now there's, you know, Volvo Prime. I mean, Volvo's a good car. Um, I want to talk about Potato Head. Hasbro owns Mr. Potato Head. They don't do enough of this. I would love to see a sound wave with the little, like back in the 80s, dating myself, back in the 80s, there was Mr. Potato Head and then there were like the, like the little fingerling potatoes. I don't, I don't know, baby potatoes. And there was like a cartoon, but do that with sound wave and the tapes. I'm just saying, just saying. This is a more oblong potato. A little different shape from the regular Mr. Potato Head body. A little thinner. Oh, okay. Convention exclusive. This came from Icon Heroes. Haven't opened it yet. These are extra large. Heads of bobble. Are they? Oh no, they're statues. Oh, they're little. St oh, even better. Oh, they are bobbleheads. And the Megatron is chipped. The head is chipped. Thank you, Icon Heroes. My head is chipped. Boy. That, that's how Megatron sounds. It's got a bad Australian accent. And uh, let's take a look at Optimi. We'll take this off. The, the neck anti-bobble device. I mean, it's... It says it's a bobblehead, but it's not really a bobblehead. Nah, 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 nah. Oh, look. The Optimus is also broken. So, right out of the box. Broken and broken. Let's, let's just move on. Let's just move on. Something that I had completely forgotten existed was this. Transformers Dell crossover. Now, Dell computers. You remember Dell computers? They, they came with like a bunch of cow stuff. I don't think they make computers anymore. They just do technology now. They're still a company. But they gave these out to their employees and I forgot these, I think there's two or three of them. All the Omnibots. Straight repackage. Uh, it's time to make the shift to new modern devices. Upgrade now, Dell and Microsoft Windows 10 are key to transforming your modern workers to be more productive and your business more competitive. This device, our devices protect and enable your workforce to work anytime, anywhere, Saturdays on Fox Kids. Gift enclosed. So, Windows 10. I forgot this existed. A buddy of mine's like, hey, do you remember these? Like, there's someone over here that has one for sale. And I'm like, 
Let me look real quick. I forgot that existed. Checked on eBay. Buy it now, 15 bucks. I think these things were going for like $150 when they came out. Anyway, my buddy Kyle has another one for me. But I told him I'd frame something for him as a thank you. All right, I do need to talk about this. They're, they're not dead. They're, they're dying. Ironhide. Ironhide and Proud's last stand from the original Transformers, the movie. They're, they're battle damaged, but, but they're, they're dying. This is the scene where they die. And this type of stuff in the mid 2000s, like 2005, 2007, we would have eaten this stuff up. But now, this is like mid 2000s Star Wars character obscurity. This is the guy from Cloud City holding the ice cream maker, running in the background. I don't want to say it's it's not lazy. I mean, work when look. There's new parts to this. It's not lazy. I, I don't even know where this fits on my shelf. Like where, where do I put this? So now we have Dead Optimus, Sleep Mode Optimus, Prowl, Ironhide, you know, call them battle damage, whatever you want to call them. I, they're not generations. Maybe they're, they're degenerations. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know where these fit. I don't know. I don't know. And from the website, Timu, I finally got a second um, Neza figure. And two of the three packs. So this one will stay sealed. I have one at home in really mint condition. I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna open these. But the, so, all right. So, what is Neza? Is a cartoon show. It's a Chinese show. These are officially made by the bro for the Chinese market. They're original molds. They're not retools. Spam. But these things never came out in any other market. And at the time, just like that Dell item we were just looking at, It's, these were astronomical. These were impossible to get. Now it's like, yeah, 20 bucks shipped from China. Everything's hot for a second. I used to be hot. Anyway. This originally came out, I want to say, during the Titan's Return line. Let's see if there's a year on this. Made in Vietnam. Uh, 2018. It's been a minute. It's been a minute since these came out. And listen, I have one at home. This packaging is is awkward to open. I mean, it came shipped in a in a bag from China.
So, I mean, you know. This is the Neza character. I, I, I'm not sure if it's a boy or girl. Maybe it's both. I don't know. I don't think they have that in China, you know, because of politics. But, I mean, the toy is pretty tight. It's not loosey-goosey. It does feel like a lower grade of plastic. This is not your typical Transformers ABS. That's why I don't like to transform things on the show. So the chest cavity opens, you put Neza inside and it's kind of like a mech type of situation. Is that what we're, we're doing? All right, so the uh, ambiguous human goes in there and we're gonna transform. And I don't even know, look, I, look, I've never seen the show. I know it's on Netflix. I don't know if this character has a car. I don't think this character has anything to do with transformation. It's just a weird crossover made for the Chinese market. Hasbro doesn't have the rights here, so that's probably why they can't release it. This probably wouldn't pass your normal safety test. Oh yeah, I mean, this would not pass your normal safety test. No way, no how. I feel like if this thing breaks, it's gonna be so sharp that I'm just gonna bleed out. And with that being said, that? We'll, uh, we'll see you next time.